Do you have a membership site or online course? Then you probably have video, audio, PDF, zip, and doc files in your members area and you want them to be secure and accessible only to authorized and paying members and buyers. So you want to protect your members only content from unauthorized viewing and sharing. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can securely store and deliver such media files right from your website. Well, even though they're technically not stored on your website, which I'll talk about in a second, but your members can easily access them from a secure members only section on your website. And I'll show you how to make them secure so that someone cannot simply take a link to your private video, audio or other files and share it with other unauthorized users outside of your membership site. Even if one of your members tried to abuse your content by copying the links to those files and shared it with their friends, sent it by email or posted it somewhere in an online forum or tried to share the link on social media, then those links will simply not work. And anyone who tries to access those direct links to your content will only see a sorry, this content has expired message. First, let me quickly show you what your members area will look like when you use S3 Media Vault to protect and deliver your media files. If you have a secure audio file, like say part of an audio course or a standalone audio program, then this is what the secure S3 Media Vault audio player looks like. And these are some of its features. So let me break down the new player first and then I'll show you the WordPress admin backend. S3 Media Vault now has a large and pretty play button. So it's easy for your visitors to identify the audio players on your page right away as it is bold and beautiful. You can now customize the title for the audio that is shown right on the player itself and this title can explain say what the audio is about like a headline and if you don't wish to provide any text then S3 Media Vault will display the file name like Facebook course.mp3. Then there's a download icon right now on the player itself which you can customize to either show or not show that's up to you and this download icon uh, links directly to your secure mp3 URL or if you directly link it to an insecure S3 file which is not protected by the plugin or if you just host the media on your own site which is not recommended but you can still do it then clicking on it will show the option to the user to either save the file or open it very similar to any other file you download from the web smart speed now this is one of my favorite features by default the audio plays at normal speed but when you click on it it speeds up playback to play at speeds of 1.5x and 2x so you can basically listen to the same audio either one and a half times faster like this in today's episode i talk about the psychology of a rabid fan and how you can use that to create better content and monetize it are twice as fast like this. Today, I actually want to tell you a true story that delves into the psychology of a rabid fan and how you can use those insights to create better content and better offers for your membership site or online course. And the reason it's called smart speed is because it's not going to simply blindly speed up the audio and make the person talking sound like a chipmunk. We know how hard you've been working on Ashley's album, so we thought it would be fun to surprise you with a little party. Hey! Instead, this feature speeds up the audio by only cutting out the dead air and the gaps and the extended silences. The starting timestamp always shows how much time has elapsed since the audio started playing. A nice and big scrubber allows the listener to easily fast forward or rewind the audio according to their convenience. Comes with an easy to use color picker with a full color palette that lets you pick any color of your choice for the player background. You can also enter hexadecimal codes like hashtag 0FAACC, especially if you already know what color you wish to use, say from the look and feel of your existing theme or other existing colors on your page. Another cool new feature is to be able to use your own artwork or photo with each audio file. You can basically use any image hosted anywhere online like Google Drive or Dropbox or Amazon S3 and of course even an image stored on your own WordPress site in your media library. And this is what a secure S3 Media Vault video player looks like. A simple video player with standard controls like play and pause and a scrubber that shows time played and time left. The S3 Media Vault video player has the smart speed feature as well, just like the audio player. This feature allows your members to increase the speed of your online course videos and how to and tutorial and training videos, which means everyone can set their own speed and learn faster at their own pace. 
The speed setting ranges from 0.5x, yes, that is lower than normal, all the way to 2x. And here's a secure S3 Media Vault link for delivering regular files like PDF, zip, or doc. Instant Media Page, or IMP. S3 Media Vault has a really cool feature called Instant Media Page, where you could just give it the name of an Amazon S3 folder and S3 Media Vault will create an automated list of media players and links for all of the files inside that folder or bucket like Amazon calls it. So if you had a module in your online course that has say two audio files, one PDF download and one video, then simply upload all of those files, the two MP3 files, the PDF report and your MP4 video file to a single S3 bucket and then create a simple S3 Media Vault shortcode using the S3 Media Vault editor on your module page where all you have to do is specify the name of this bucket or folder. And when the page loads, you will see two audio players, one download link to your PDF file and a video player all automatically generated and all of them secure. You no longer have to create a separate shortcode for each media file. Just give S3 Media Vault the bucket name and it will generate an instant media page. So if you have a number of different modules, then create a separate subfolder for each module and simply tell S3 Media Vault to generate an instant media page for each of those modules. And if you don't care about having separate pages for separate modules, simply load all of your course files into one bucket and S3 Media Vault can generate all of the players and links for you automatically on that page. So if you had 50 different files, like 20 audio files, 20 video files, say five PDFs, three PowerPoint presentations, and two spreadsheets, now you no longer have to create 50 separate shortcodes for those 50 files. Just one simple shortcode with the name of the bucket and S3 Media Vault will take care of the rest. Why do you need S3 Media Vault? You may be wondering, why not simply upload the MP4, MP3, PDF, doc, and zip files directly to your website and then link to them from a members only page. Why do you even need S3 Media Vault? Uploading your media files directly to your website is not a good idea because most regular web hosts are not meant for securely delivering large media files. Doesn't matter if you have a shared hosting account or a virtual private server or even a dedicated server. Now, I won't get into the full technical details here, but here's the short answer. Delivering large media files to a whole bunch of people especially if they will be downloading them frequently and maybe many of them at around the same time, like say when you release a new podcast episode or the latest video in your online course, that can cause a huge spike in your server resource usage and that can cause your server to slow down, run out of memory and probably even crash. And you shouldn't believe that quote unquote unlimited bandwidth claim by your web host because most of them will have some disclaimer somewhere in their terms of service that prohibit you from storing and delivering large media files from their servers. This is why file storage services like Amazon S3 were created so they can take the load of delivering these large media files off of your website and deliver them from super fast, massively powerful media servers. So your next obvious thought might be, okay, if I uploaded these files to my Amazon S3 account and put a link to them in the members area, then that's it, right? Why exactly do I still need S3 Media Vault? And the answer to that is, if you simply upload a file directly to Amazon S3, the direct link you get from Amazon S3 is basically an open, unprotected, insecure link, which means anyone who has access to that link will be able to access it, download it, and share it with other unauthorized users outside of your membership site. That means once a member logs in and accesses the link, they can simply copy that link and share it illegally with their friends via email or even post it in an online forum. And now you can suddenly have hundreds of people accessing your Amazon S3 files directly without ever even coming to your website, not having to purchase anything, not having to even log into the members area, all for free without having to pay you anything and you will be left with basically a big Amazon S3 bill and nothing else to show for it. 
So while uploading files to Amazon S3 removes the load from your own website, it still doesn't mean it's secure by default, which means you need to be able to upload your private files to Amazon S3 and you also need a way to securely embed them into your member pages so that they can only be viewed or downloaded from that page and the links to your secure files should not work if they are shared illegally. Enter s3mediavault.com. S3 Media Vault is a secure video player, audio player, and file protector for files stored in your Amazon S3 account. So think of it like embedding a YouTube video onto your website, except with YouTube, they can go to that video directly on youtube.com as well and watch it or share the YouTube link with others, even if you have a plugin that hides the YouTube logo. But when you securely embed a S3 Media Vault file on your website, your visitors and members can watch the video, listen to the audio, and download your files only from your website. And they will not be able to pass around the links to those files. Well, technically they could pass them around, but they won't work because Yes, S3 Media Vault creates self-destructing expiring links. And then if you use a membership plugin like digitalaccesspass.com or DAP, then you can protect the pages where you have embedded the S3 Media Vault links and prevent those pages from being accessed by the general public and make sure that only paid members or authorized subscribers can access those pages. That's two levels of security for your members only content if you use S3 Media Vault and DAP. First level of security, they can only access those videos, audio and files from your website. Second level of security, only authorized and paying members can even get to those pages in the first place. And then when they do get to those pages, they can't share those links with unauthorized users. So if you want to securely deliver audio, video, PDF, doc, zip, even images, and pretty much any kind of files, and you not only want secure links to your files, but you also want a beautiful audio player created for your audio files, a video player for your video files, and maybe even secure download links to those same audio and video files so that your visitors can not only watch them or listen to them, but they can also download them to their computer, then you need to store your media on Amazon S3 and you need S3 Media Vault to lock down your media and deliver them securely through a members only page in your membership site or online course. S3 Media Vault is not just for Amazon S3. It can also play regular MP3 and MP4 files that are stored on your own website. So if you just need a nice looking audio or video player for your homepage, blog or landing page and you don't need it to be secure, then you can store the files on your own website or pretty much anywhere online and S3 Media Vault can create an audio or video player for those files as well. There are three ways to get access to S3 Media Vault. Number one, if you are a digitalaccesspass.com platinum member, you can get S3 Media Vault for free. Number two, if you are a member of my Subscribe Me Membership Academy at subscribeme.fm slash academy, you can get S3 Media Vault for free with certain membership levels. Three, you may simply purchase S3 Media Vault right here from s3mediavault.com. I'm Ravi Jagopal. Don't forget to check out my podcast about membership sites, online courses, and digital marketing at subscribeme.fm. Cheers, and thanks for watching.